Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna talk about my Twitter growth plan for 2022. Now, last year I started on Twitter around February. I made a video about Twitter growth in, I wanna say June or July. And that's now my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. So it seems like there's a lot of interest around Twitter and Twitter has been very good for me for growing my business and subscriber base and my email list. So I'm gonna be continuing to double down on this platform in 2022 and beyond. So what I wanna do in this video is just break down to you my plan for growing on Twitter this year, 2022, and the different things that I'm thinking about and the different actions I'm gonna be taking to make sure that I hit this goal here. So on my screen is my growth plan. I'm gonna break down the, the goal that I have, topics that I'm gonna talk about, my action plan, and a few other things so that maybe you can take this and run with it and you can use this to, grow, to build and grow your Twitter audience as well. So my vanity goal, for Twitter is to get 30,000 new followers this year. Now, currently I have 5,391 followers. And so I have quite a bit to go here, but 30,000 followers is my goal for this year. That means I need an average of 2,500 new followers every month or 82 on average every day. So how am I gonna hit this goal, right? If I just have this goal here, this vanity goal with no action plan behind it, there is no way I'm hitting it. So how I'm gonna hit this goal of 30,000 new followers in 2022? Well, it first starts with what I'm gonna talk about on my Twitter profile. So a few topics, entrepreneurship, email marketing and copywriting, info products, building an audience, internet income, or just generating money online. These are like my main topics and core pillars of the content that I post there, uh, or basically any platform. The action plan of how I'm gonna post these tweets and how I'm gonna get this 30,000 new followers is, I'm gonna be posting three quality new tweets every day. And also talk about some of the mistakes that I made from 2021 and how this is a little different from that. So three quality tweets a day. I'm gonna post one thread a week, which is kind of like a blog post in tweet form. So you can see this, this is an example of a, a thread that I posted last week. And you can see it starts with a, a hook up here, a topic, and then it's kind of like a blog post where I have multiple different posts that talk about that topic. So I'm gonna post one of these longer tweets uh, or threads every week and three quality tweets per week. I'm gonna use a tool called tweethunter.io to schedule my tweets a day ahead. So this is Tweet Hunter right here and it's an awesome tool. It helps you to come up with tweet ideas and also it helps you to schedule out your tweets and threads. So this is like an all-in-one Twitter growth tool where you can schedule out your tweets and you don't have to worry about um, posting it manually. So. Um, I'll do a review video on this separately another time. If you guys wanna sign up for this, I have a link. It's an affiliate link to this, this tool. I highly recommend it. It's gonna be down in the description and you can use this tool to schedule out your tweets for yourself. So that's Tweet Hunter. This is the tool that I'm gonna to use to post out my tweets and to schedule them out so that I don't have to worry about writing them the day of and so that I can stay on track for hitting these actions here. The fourth thing I'm gonna do as part of this action plan is connect with or be useful to at least one other creator per week. Now this could be in the form of a DM to the person, to another creator helping them out somehow. It could be in the form of maybe jumping on a Zoom call and connecting there. It could be just commenting on their post and providing feedback or an idea or an insight. So my goal is to connect with at least one creator a week on this platform and actually be useful to them, be valuable to them. So that's my action plan, real simple. I keep it simple because if I don't keep it simple, I'm just not gonna do it. So three quality tweets, tweets a day, one thread a week. I'm gonna use tweethunter.io to schedule it out and connect with or be useful to at least one other creator per week. Now, um, some mistakes that I made in 2021 that helped me decide on this action plan is the first one is I was focusing too much on quantity versus quality. So I wasn't so much focused on writing good tweets. I would just write tweets to hit, uh, I was doing five a day in 2021. And I found that doing five a day was forcing me to just put out crappy tweets. So that's one of the mistakes I made was I wasn't so focused on quality. I was focused on just getting enough tweets out there to fill my five tweets per day quota. And so I'm gonna be focusing more on quality this year. The second thing I, I made a mistake on is I stopped writing threads. So from February to July, I was writing these longer threads once per week and my audience grew from zero to 4,000 or so followers in that February to July timeframe. Now from July to December, it only grew by about 1,200 followers and that's because I stopped posting threads and stopped posting these, these longer tweet storms here. So 
I need to get back to writing these threads. That's why I added it back to my action plan because they uh, clearly work and they helped me to grow my audience a lot quicker than just writing these one-off tweets. So this is probably the biggest one here. I stopped writing threads because I know for a fact this is what helped me with my growth. The third thing is I didn't spend enough time connecting with other creators. So I was just focused on posting tweets and just putting out five tweets a day and I wasn't really commenting on other people's um, tweets or their posts. I wasn't connecting with people through the DMs aside from a few people and I wasn't going out and trying to be useful to other creators on, uh, on the platform. So these are my three main mistakes and you can see it's pretty much the opposite of what I have for the action plan. So quality over quantity. That's why I chopped it down from five tweets to three tweets a day. I am starting to write threads again and I'm spending more time or making a habit of connecting with more creators on the platform. And I know that these things are gonna help me grow a lot quicker just from my last year on Twitter. Now, some 2022 non-negotiables. So these are things that I have to do on the platform every day when I'm thinking about this action plan. The first thing is my tweets must deliver value in the form of an insight, wisdom, or lesson. Um, another thing I could add here is maybe humor, right? If I wanna do a shit post and just make people laugh, that's another form of value so, or entertainment. So my tweets must deliver value in the form of an insight, wisdom, lesson, or entertainment, or humor somehow. That's the first thing. Second one is my tweets, where is it? Right here. My tweets must get the reader to think or behave differently, right? So once someone reads it, they, they should say something like, oh, I never thought of it that way before, I never knew that, or I never heard about that before. So I want every tweet to get the person reading it to think or maybe behave slightly differently. Third thing is my tweets will always focus on quality over quantity. I'm not gonna be focused on just putting crappy tweets out there just to hit my quota. I'm always gonna sit down and make sure that I put out quality tweets that get people to think or behave differently. And fourth non-negotiable is I'm gonna follow this action plan every day, week, month for the entire 2022. If I miss a day or if for, for whatever reason I am not able to do my action plan, I have to make up for it, right? So I have to go and make sure that 365 days, whatever that times three is, I need that many tweets. I need at least one thread a week. I need to connect with at least one creator a week. So non-negotiable, I need to follow this action plan because I know this plan is what's gonna get me to this vanity goal here, right? So most people stop at this vanity goal, oh, I want this many followers, I wanna make this much money, I wanna grow my email list by this much, but they don't have an exact action plan to hit that goal. So this is my 2022 Twitter growth plan. Take it, run with it. You can just take this document here and just make your own and put down your own vanity goal and topics you wanna talk about and your action plan. You can copy mine if you want and learn from my mistakes in 2021 and so that you can grow faster on this platform as well. So I'm gonna put out a few more videos in the coming weeks on, I'm, I'm gonna multiple different social media platforms and like my email list, Facebook group, YouTube channel. I'm gonna put out documents like this, growth plans for 2022, if you guys are interested. So if you are, let me know in the comments if you wanna see like my YouTube growth plan for 2022, and my Facebook group and email list growth plan. I can make a doc just like this for my plan on those platforms as well. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up this quick Twitter growth plan video, my plan for 2022, if you guys found this useful and valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already. And also go to my Twitter profile, it's Sean Anthony Says, hit the follow button and you can see this action plan live as I go throughout the year and implement the things that I talked about here. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found this valuable and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.